Coach, a hard fall loss out there. You had the lead for most of it, and then Albany yeah. just came through in the second half. Uh, can you just get your general thoughts? Yeah, like you said, you know, tough win. I was just looking at the box score, and it said that we led for 28 minutes of the game, um, and Albany obviously led for, for just 10 minutes of the game. So um, it was nice to see our, our crew, our young crew, get out there and, and fight that hard for that amount of time. And, I mean, obviously the third quarter put us uh, did us in. I think we had 10 turnovers in that quarter. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we got to score, bottom line. I thought Kayla – had a really nice night. You know, she uh, was cleaning up the boards on the weak side for us, was which was great. I've been waiting for Kayla to kind of have a night like this. She, from walkthrough to from practice yesterday to today, um, she was just kind of locked in. She was focused. She was ready for the game plan. She knew the scout. Um, and it was, I mean, she led. She led with her play. And that's what we need from her every single day. We need her to lead with her play. Any questions for Coach? Um, what do you think changed between the first half and the second? Oh, easily. Just turnovers, and then they were live ball turnovers, so they ended in uh, layups for the other team. They were able to execute um, every single time down. Obviously, um, Jessica, for them, she started to heat up, and she was getting way too many open looks, way too many touches. There were times in transition and even off of broken plays. There were times where we would take care of um, everyone else on the floor and then come down to the last five seconds, and the ball finds her, and, of course, that's going to be a made shot every single time. So. We didn't do a great job of containing her touches, um, and we didn't do a great job of executing um, down the stretch. Um, and then lastly, uh, moving forward, what do you think you guys learned from this game, and where are you gonna apply to the next game? Yeah, I mean, we I learned that our team is gritty. You know, when we play um, focused basketball and we execute and we find each other, we're starting to kind of learn where people like the ball and finding them in, in their spots a lot better within our offenses. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I think that for us to lose the lead, have Albany come back, take the lead, um, and see us fight in that last four minutes of the game was something that I hadn't seen with this team yet. And that's something that we've been harping on. I mean, even when we played against UNH, we played amazing basketball for um, three quarters and a little bit of the fourth. And then once they took the lead, we fell apart. So they're continuing to learn, and this is just, I mean, we're only five games into conference, and so we got to still finish out the rest of conference, and we get to see everybody a second time. So our goal, and I told them yesterday, we just want to get better every single practice, every single game, and if they do that, everything else will take care of itself. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. Coach, one final question. Yeah. Um, you started off the game, uh, the offense wasn't really clicking, but the defense, well, probably one of the most physical defenses I've seen with this team, and. You held, uh, made Albany miss the first 12 shots. Can you just talk about the opening six minutes of the game with that defense? Yeah, um, I think it was just more so credit to, um, you know, the players, they were they were ready. They were moving. I mean, we played a little zone against them, um, and our slides were good. We weren't leaving people wide open. Um, we, weren't, we didn't have a lot of gaps. Um, we were there con to contest shots. Um, and then we were able to clean up the, the rebounds. You know, we weren't given those second chance opportunities consistently. And then when we did give them up, we were there again to contest. So um, just credit to the players. You know, I think in the first half, we just had a lot more gas in our tank. <laughs> and we get to the second half and they kind of ran out of gas. And so some of those plays that we were making early on, we weren't making um, in the, in the, towards the end of the game. But I, I really just think they were, they were prepared, they were ready, and they were locked in. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks.